In the early 90s, fighting games dominated the arcade scene, and in the last episode of Deep Cuts, we went into details about Mortal Kombat and the many secrets and mysteries that series holds. There's a lot. That was a big part of the appeal. You know, back in the 90s, you can't fact check. You hear a rumor about a fighting game, a secret fatality, a secret character, and you just gotta take it at face value. And of course, this was not limited to just Mortal Kombat. How about that other fighting game series? Some of you may have heard of it, a little game called Street Fighter. Street Fighter absolutely has its share of interesting history and mysteries like what the hell is Blanca? And why does his backstory seem to vary game to game? Just who exactly are these two guys? And why the hell are there so many different versions of each game? Truly, questions never meant to be answered. But today, let's take a look at one of these mysteries that seemingly has a simple answer, yet snowballed into something much larger that ended up influencing future games in the series. The mystery of Shang Long. Who? Street Fighter 2 burst onto the arcade scene back in 1991 and started the fighting game phenomenon. Eight playable characters, six buttons, complex inputs and commands, two-player head-to-head competition, nothing like it had ever been done. The game was a slam dunk, and names like Ryu, Ken, and Chun-Li have since become household names in the gaming world, and remain popular to this day. Each character was brimming with personality, iconic designs, iconic attacks. It's in the little details, the little flares, that's the reason words like Hadouken have entered the gaming lexicon. Even after a match is over, the winning character taunts the player with a winning quote, and it's actually here where the Sheng Long mystery originates. You see, in the original North American release of Street Fighter 2, after being defeated by Ryu, his victory quote was, You must defeat Sheng Long to stand a chance. You must defeat Sheng Long. Okay? The only problem with that, of course, is there's no character in the game named Sheng Long. This, of course, led to widespread rumors about a secret hidden character you could fight after meeting an excruciatingly difficult set of requirements. In 1992, the popular video game magazine Electronic Gaming Monthly, or EGM, published an article on how to fight against Sheng Long in Street Fighter 2. To fight Sheng Long, the mysterious Street Fighter legend, you must use Ryu throughout your entire game. You must not get hit from the moment you begin until the final round with M. Bison. Once there, you must spar with M. Bison without hitting each other for 10 rounds. The 10th round is the final, and after the last draw game, Sheng Long appears and tosses M. Bison away. Now the timer is stuck at 99, and you are forced into a fight to the death. Okay, so I said the requirements were excruciatingly difficult, when really, it's basically impossible. I mean, even if you make it to M. Bison without getting touched, to force 10 draws where no one gets hit, it's impossible. Even if you block everything, you are still taking chip damage or block damage. So it was pretty clear. This article was baloney. Coupled with the fact it was published in the April edition, and in the very same article they referred to a person who wrote into them with the name Mr. Waste Tokens from a place called Fooled Again. So it was debunked. There was no hidden character named Sheng Long. So what was the deal with the post-match message? Well, it turns out this was all the result of an English localization error. It was simply translated incorrectly. From Japanese to Chinese and then to English, the proper translation should read as, if you cannot overcome the rising dragon fist, you cannot win. In future iterations of the game, including the Super Nintendo release in 1992, the winning phrase was updated to, you must defeat my dragon punch to stand a chance. The bizarre thing is, even though it's fixed in the later arcade releases, as well as the 1992 home console ports, the Super Nintendo instruction manual refers to both Ryu and Ken as being disciples of Shang Long. Then, two years later, in 1994's Street Fighter the Movie the Game, that absolute masterpiece, Sheng Long is again referred to multiple times, both in Ken and Ryu's stories, as well as Akuma's. Adding to the fake lore, Sheng Long was actually Akuma's brother, which is crazy! 
Though, let's be fair, I'm not sure if Street Fighter the movie the game is official canon. Also in 1994, Takuma Comics published an official Street Fighter 2 comic in Japan that detailed a fighting monk who lived in the mountains of Japan who served as Ken and Ryu's master. Except his name wasn't Shang Long. His name was Goken. And one year later in Street Fighter Alpha, we got the first official glimpse of this character in an actual video game. And it was during Akuma's ending cinematic. Two years later in 1997, EGM, back up to their old ways, published yet another Sheng Long Street Fighter article. This time, it was detailing how to battle against Sheng Long in Street Fighter 3 New Generation. And you know, this one was pretty convincing. They even detailed his moveset and included artwork that looked like it could have belonged to Street Fighter 3. Here they also referred to the name Goken as being his international name, kind of like how Akuma's name is actually Goki in the Japanese versions of Street Fighter. I'll give it to him, this is a pretty damn good fake, especially for the time, but yet again, this was published in the April edition of EGM, and the first letters of the article spell out April Fools. And that's the last that anyone has heard of Sheng Long. Seemingly. In 2000 and 2005, two Street Fighter Alpha anime films were produced that both featured Ken and Ryu's master briefly. But again, his name was not Sheng Long, it was Goken. These movies actually leaned heavily on the story and background of Akuma and Goken. And wouldn't you know it, they were brothers. It was also in this era, the 2000s, where fighting games had all but disappeared. As a huge fighting game fan, I can confirm, it was a dark time. But that all changed with the release of Street Fighter 4, a new mainline entry in the series after a near 10 year hiatus. In an interview with Electronic Gaming Monthly in the January 2008 edition, series producer Yoshinoro Ono stated, jokes that your magazine have reported in the past might find their way into the game as fan service. Street Fighter 4 hit Japanese arcades in July 2008, and although Goken was not a selectable character, if you were to clear the arcade mode with a very specific set of difficult requirements, you would enter a secret battle with Goken in a fashion very reminiscent of the rumors going all the way back to the early 90s. What's funny is, even for the duration of 2008, there was not a lot of video footage or anything of the sort on Goken. He really was still fairly mysterious. Back in 2008, phone video footage was still ass. The game was only out in Japan and only in arcades where it was crazy popular. Good luck getting a machine all to yourself to try and encounter the secret battle. But finally, in 2009, Street Fighter 4 was released on home console in North America and Europe, and Goken was now finally a selectable and playable character. And what's funny is Capcom seems to have had some fun with it. One of Goken's win quotes was, You must defeat me to stand a chance. There was even an unlockable title you could add to your player profile called AKA Shen Long. And while he is a different character than those fake EGM articles back in the 90s, what's really interesting is how those rumors actually seemed to have an influence on the character's design, including shooting fireballs with a single arm, as well as the ability to shoot two fireballs at once. The rumors of Shen Long and the elaborate steps that needed to be taken in order to challenge him arguably also influenced the addition of Akuma in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Even the way he attacks M. Bison in the final stage is similar to how Sheng Long apparently made his entrance in those rumors back in 92. It's really interesting to see how an honest, simple translation error created these rumors that truly snowballed into something so ridiculous that it would eventually have an influence on the series years and even decades later. In Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix on the Xbox 360, if you are able to trigger the secret Akuma fight and win the match, the player will earn an achievement. Sheng Long is in another castle. In the 2012 Disney film Wreck-It Ralph, which Street Fighter already has a huge presence in, you can see some graffiti in the background of one of the scenes that says, Sheng Long was here. Shoryuken. You must defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. I also love the fact that the first game to reference Shang Long or Goken being Akuma's brother is Street Fighter the movie The Game. Classic. 
thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Deep Cuts. As always, please let me know what you thought about it and hit the like button if you did enjoy it. Uh, if you want stories similar to this one, please consider binge watching the rest of the Deep Cuts videos using the Deep Cuts playlist. A lot of good ones in there. Thanks so much for watching this one, guys. Peace.